Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Okay. Good morning. My name is Chester Edwards. I am the American Legion Post 90 Service Officer and a U.S. Navy Vietnam Combat Veteran. I've been given the honor of being your MC for the day. In attendance are members of Post 0090 American Legion Mamaroneck, Post 347 American Legion Larchmont, and 1156 VFW from Mamaroneck. I'd like to welcome you to the American Legion Post 90 and our Veterans Day ceremony in cooperation with the village of Mamaroneck. We are here to honor all of those who have worn the uniform, the uniform of the military services of the United States of America. They are the United States Army, the United States Marine Corps, the United States Navy, the United States Air Force, the United States Space Force, and the United States Coast Guard. In addition, the New York Army National Guard, the New York Air Guard, the New York Naval Militia, and the New York Guard. We want to thank them all for their service and sacrifice made in order to provide the freedoms that we enjoy today. If you please stand. Ed, would you lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Thank you. Good morning and welcome. Uncover. Uncover. We pray that you bless all those who have served their country through the service of the armed forces, grant healing to those veterans who have been wounded in body, mind, and soul. We pray especially for those young men and women who come home to lives of suffering and loneliness. Offer them the solace that you only can. May we pray for them often, especially when they feel they cannot pray. Lord, have mercy. Bring peace to our hearts, the hearts of all veterans, and the regions which they fought. Grant, pray, creative vision to see the world weary with fighting, affirms the life of every human being, and so in voices beyond war. Amen. I'd like to now ask American Legion Post 90 Commander Frank Maresca to please come up and say a few words. Good morning. Welcome to the ceremony. I hope you enjoy it. I am not a speech maker or a speech writer, so I just say welcome and thank you for coming. Okay, I'd like to uh, introduce a few officials and dignitaries. I'm not sure how many are here, but if you're here, please acknowledge and let us know where you are. Uh, for the United States government, we have Senators Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand, who have both been very supportive of the military and of the posts. Your representative, Jamal Bowman, also very supportive. New York State Senator Shelley Mayer and Representative Steve Otis, who have carried our message to their particular bodies and come back with some great laws and some great things to help us. From Westchester County, temporarily George Latimer, our county executive. 
Deputy Executive Ken Jenkins. The Board of Legislators, we would have Nancy Barr and Catherine Parker. I don't believe any of them are here. Uh, as you know, every, every ceremony for Veterans Day starts at 11 a.m. on the button. So if they're anywhere, uh, hopefully they're, they're at one ceremony or another. Uh, Village of Mamaroneck, uh, Mayor Sharon Torres, who I'm told wasn't able to be here, but Deputy Mayor Nora Lucas is here. Deputy Mayor, would you like to come up and say uh, hello to the crowd? I know the elections are over, but. <laughs> so, well, I'm gonna take a note from Commander Moresca and just say I wanna thank Post 90 and their village staff. Oh, okay, I'm getting the up sign. I wanna, I, I wanna thank Post 90 for always having us, keeping us, keeping us on our toes and having us here on November 11th. It's, 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 it's a wonderful tradition for those of us who did not serve in the military. It's a, it's a, a wonderful reminder of, of, of those who did, who we, can, who we can't understand the amount of time they spent away from their family, from their work, from their loved ones. And um, this is a great, a, a wonderful opportunity to thank them. And I want to thank our staff, the Rec and Parks Department, because they work with Post 90 and make this event happen every year. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I believe we need to mention also interim village manager Charles Strom, our trustees. Uh, in, in addition to Nora Lucas, trustees are Lee, uh, Lou Young, Manny Rawlings, and Lalani Yazar Reed, if I got that right. If not, my apologies. Uh, also, those folks that keep us safe every day, uh, day around, year around, uh, Chief of Police Sandra DeRuza, uh, the fire department, we have Chief Engineer James Barney. Is uh, James here? He's back in the back. Let's give him a hand. Yeah. Him and his guys do a wonderful job, whether it's fire or flood. Uh, we have First Assistant Chief Tom Selman, Selm Sen, and Second Assistant Chief Michael Yanuzzi. Uh, from the village of Mamer or the town of Mamaritic, rather, Supervisor Janie Elkin Haney. Hi, everybody. Um, can you hear me? Uh, this Veterans Day has a really special significance to, to me because today would have been my dad's 100th birthday and he was so proud to have served in the Navy in World War II. This picture of him, I brought props, this picture of him, thank you, in his navy dressed whites was prominently displayed on the piano in our living room next to a picture of him and my mother at their wedding. And this pin is the pin that adorned his hat. And he never went out anywhere dressed up without a crisp white shirt and his cufflinks from the US Naval Academy. So I wanna thank you all today for commemorating this holiday on behalf of all of the men and women of the military past and present, who made an immense sacrifice and put their lives on the line to defend our nation. And I want to thank my dad, Lieutenant, Jun Lieutenant Junior Grade, Alan H. Elkind. Happy birthday. And I want to just announce um, Deputy Supervisor Sabrina Fiddleman is accompanying me and Councilwoman Robin Nachinsky. Okay, I also want to uh, mention and thank uh, the EMS Chief uh, Jason Capelbo for the work of the EMS and Mamaronek. I know they do a wonderful job. Okay, um, Jan Northrup of the Kemper Memorial Society and her students from the F.E. Bellow Grade School have some cards to give out to veterans. Uh, we also want to acknowledge that uh, the Girl Scouts from Troop 1798 and Troop 2772 are here. Let's give them a hand as they grow up, hopefully to become our future military. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for that one. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a day of celebration and recognition, but in some ways it is also a solemn one. Originally observed as Armistice Day, the 11th day of the 11th month 
marked the anniversary of the end of World War I and honored its, fall, its fallen. As our country and much of the world mourned, there remained a desperate glimmer of hope that the Great War would indeed be the end of the wars to end all wars. Of course, we know that isn't so. World War II followed two decades later, then Korea, the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, Persian Gulf, and we just recently, about two, three years ago, ended the longest war in our history, the war in Afghanistan. Today, we still have military service brothers and sisters in harm's way in Gaza, the Sudan, Ukraine, Syria, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, while other service members stand watch around the world. Most people are not aware at this point that the active hostilities of the Korean War ended with a military armistice agreement, but no peace treaty was ever signed. The result is that the U.S. military is attending watch every day at the DMZ between North and South Korea. As war and conflict continue, so does the courage and sacrifice of U.S. men and women who defend our nation and its interests. Many have paid the ultimate price. Many of those who served still carry mental, moral, and physical scars with them. In 1954, Armistice Day became Veterans Day, a day to com commemorate all veterans of all wars and eras, past, present, and future, living or dead. While the hope of a world without war faded and we continue to mourn our fallen, November 11 becomes a day to celebrate our gratitude for these warriors. And so, on this, the 72nd Veterans Day, I am grateful to be here with you to honor all the veterans who came before us and those who stood alongside us and those who will come after us. To those veterans here today, please raise your hand or stand if you can. We salute you and appreciate the great costs that often come with serving. Please be seated. I'd like to take a moment to, uh, to, to acknowledge and thank those that are often forgotten, the families of the uh, veterans who served. Those families have helped shoulder the weight of war and the burdens of service and that of the men and women's sacrifices. If there's any family members here of veterans, I'd like to please stand so we can acknowledge you. Thank you very much. Veterans Day is a time when we remind our fellow United States of America citizens to stop and say thank you to those who serve. These simple words are important, but they are just a beginning. If you are shy or don't want to embarrass a service member or veteran, simply look at them in the eye, place your hand over your heart. They will understand. I encourage you, whether civilian or, or veteran, to dig deeper. Ask questions, listen, learn, take an interest in the experiences and sacrifices of those who allow us to live out our stories in a country that is safe and free. Doing so is more powerful than you will ever know. There is great power in learning and sharing our stories and listening to others. It is one heck of a way to say thank you. Uh, my wife and I are also involved in Hudson Valley Honor Flight, uh, Mary Edwards. Um, we get to live these stories with every flight, with every veteran we talk to, and those stories are just amazing. Uh, we should actually document those somewhere, uh, but it's, uh, it, it, the stories we hear from 118-year-old barber from Newburgh, 103-year-old female Marine, and every branch, every rank, all have their stories, good, bad, and ones they don't speak of. The daily work of the American Legion and other veteran service organizations do take the gratitude and turns it into action. Through our benefits claims assistance, legislative advocacy, employment, and entrepreneurship resources and volunteer opportunities, 
We serve the veterans and their families every day of the year. These organizations also provide a safe, comfortable place for veterans to come together, share their stories with their peers, who do not only understand them, but share their history and experiences. Their mission is to empower everyone who served to lead high quality, fulfilling lives with respect, dignity, without regard to race, creed, religion, or any other man-made categories that may exist. They are our brothers and sisters of the uniform. This Veterans Day, let's celebrate what we, what we can accomplish when we come together. Let's recognize the service doesn't end in the military and that thank you is just the beginning of gratitude. Your being here today tells me you're willing to go further. So please lend an ear to the veterans in your community. And if you can, work with the American Legion and other veteran service organizations to donate your time, efforts, and money to honor those who served. They definitely deserve it. So thank you for taking the time to honor our veterans today. God bless you all and bless the United States of America. If you'd please stand for the playing of God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Chaplain Vince Galley to come up for the benediction. Veterans, as you close out your day, we just want to thank you, salute you, and remember you in our prayers on this Veterans Day and beyond. Heavenly Father, we offer gratitude for the extraordinary men and women who fight to protect this nation so that we enjoy the freedom we so treasure. We humbly ask you to watch over these heroes, protect them and bless them mightily for their endless sacrifices. Help us not to take our beloved veterans for granted. Rather, help us to honor them with unrelenting love and appreciation for their priceless service to this country. West, rest well, veterans. You're, you're in our prayers this day and every day. God bless you, amen. Okay, uh, this officially concludes our, our program. Everyone is invited to join us upstairs for some drinks, some snacks, and camaraderie. Uh, we would also like to invite all of you veterans, if you're not already, become a member of one of the veteran service organizations, particularly this American Legion post. <laughs> the applications are available. Thank you very much for coming and have a great day. And uh, again, this is not only Veterans Day, but it's Veterans Month and we need to honor our veterans every day of the year. Thank you very much. Thank you.